unlike your GCSE results day, your A level results day needs preparation. You can't just turn up to school and then be happy and go home or go out with your friends. You need to do stuff. Hey guys, as I said in yesterday's video, even if you're disappointed with the results that you get on Thursday, I still think you've got a really, really good chance of getting into university. But you still need to do some preparation because things happen very quickly on results day and if you are not prepared, then the university places aren't going to be there. I'm talking about preparing for clearing and preparing for adjustment. Now this is slightly different obviously because as I explained yesterday we are not going to have international students or not as many international students coming to the UK to study this year which I think is going to leave a lot of empty spaces in university and university is going to want to get those spaces filled. So when you get your results and you get your place you might be able to go for a better university place but if you haven't done the preparation for that that place is not going to sit around waiting for you so what you need to do now today after you finish watching this video is go into the UCAS clearing website and have a look around at the places that are available there are lots and lots of spaces available on very very good courses in lovely lovely cities and campuses take the time and be a little bit creative with your horse choice if you want to do like biochemistry like I did I did it with a placement but some of my friends did it with a language or a year abroad or biochemistry with management or one of my friends did electrical engineering and psychology take the course that you want to do and see if you can add things or take things away from it and does like get you at a better university have a look at the course descriptions have a look at the actual modules and the breakdown of those modules and see if it's the sort of thing that you actually want to do take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone when you are looking for places and courses and universities and then once you're out of your comfort zone decide how uncomfortable does that actually feel if you don't get onto your dream course but your dream course with French does have places well could you do French take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone and decide how uncomfortable it actually feels. Going for a place through clearing or adjustment or trying to get a better place than you've actually got takes a little bit of bravery, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of thinking outside the box to try and change what you thought you were going to be doing to see if you can get something better. Now the reason you need to do this preparation now is because lots and lots of other people will be doing this preparation now and if on results day you don't get the place at university, you don't get the grades you need or you get better grades than expected or you want to try and go for a better place then things will start happening very very quickly people will be on the phone from eight o'clock from the second they get their exam results from the second that track updates and universities are not going to keep those places open just in case you might decide that you want the place you need to be prepared and you need to have a plan of action in place if this is the route that you're going to go down now on Thursday you are going to get two separate bits of information and while they are related one doesn't tell you what the other one is. The first bit of information you're going to get at roughly 8 o'clock in the morning. Now I say roughly 8 o'clock in the morning, that's the time that Track has in the past updated but lots and lots of you are going to be logging on to Track at exactly the same time and sometimes the website struggles a little bit. So I say roughly 8 o'clock but it might take you till quarter past to actually get in. Track is going to update and it will change from a conditional offer to an unconditional offer which means brilliant yes you've got your place you can start celebrating. It can be an unsuccessful which means no you haven't got your place 
or it can be a changed course. So if we go back to the example of biochemistry with French, say that's what you applied for, but you didn't quite get the grade, so you missed your grade in A or French, the university might decide, yes, they still want you, but they don't want you to do biochemistry with French, they just want you to do biochemistry. So it's a change course, and then you've got the decision whether you take that or not. So track will tell you whether you've got into university or not, but it will not tell you what your A-level results are. Your A-level results you will get from the school in whatever format the school has decided your school has decided to do that in this year whether they're having a traditional results day or whether they're posting to you or emailing to you however they are doing that but your A-level results won't tell you whether you've gone to university or not and track will not tell you what your A-level results are so two separate bits of information now once you've got both of those bits of information, whether you're going to go down clearing, whether you're going to go down adjustment, or once you've got your unconditional place, you can decline it and then go through clearing and try and get a better offer, which is risky because you could be turning down a really, really good university place to try and go for something else. So there is a bit of risk there. But as I said, I think there are going to be lots and lots of good universities with space that they desperately want fields. Roughly 20% of the UK population of students is made up from international students. 90,000 of those come from China. And I don't know everyone's personal circumstances. I don't necessarily think they're going to be turning up in September to take up those places. So the places that would have been filled by international students are going to be available for home students. Now, while this seems like good news, international students pay very, very high fees, which subsidises a lot of what the home students actually do. So in the short term, it's nice news for some people, but in the long term, it's actually really quite bad news. We need international students. Anyway, that was beside the point. There are not going to be any remarks this year. In the past, if you didn't quite get the exam results that you wanted, you could apply for a priority remark from the exam board. You could tell the university this is what you were doing. They would generally hold your place open and then depending on what the remark said, you would either get your place or not get your place. That's not happening this year. There is going to be an appeals process, but it's more based around technicalities. They're not remarking your work or anything like that that so if you have been unsuccessful and you do not have a place there is not a lot of things you can do you can wait until the autumn sit the exams in autumn and then apply to start university in September 2021 or you can go through clearing and try and get a place like that now for any of the clearing adjustment or try and get a better place people will be on the phone immediately if this is something you want to do, then you need to get on that phone as soon as possible. And the only way you're gonna get on the phone as soon as possible is by having the plan ready, the plan sorted, knowing exactly what you're going to be doing. So spend the rest of this week daydreaming about fancy places that you may or may not be going to university in. Have a look at the student union, see what sort of things they've got on offer. Have a look at whether they're having a freshers week, whether the university is going to be holding lectures in person or online, what support they have for students, look at the student bloggers, there are loads and loads of people out there who have made brilliant videos, as I'm sure you know, about life at a university. So do your research and hopefully we won't have to use it. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.